another episode of our blog and today is Wednesday and today it's not a craft about quilling but it's a different thing so today we, we're gonna show you and we're gonna walk you through the process of what this art is about so we discovered this art from our, our family friends of ours and she introduced this to us as a gift so this is how my daughter, so what is it? What do you receive? I received a diamond art unicorn. Yeah, so she received a diamond art piece, and this was empty here, and all the surface here is sticky. So this is the canvas, and what is the size of this? This the size is, uh, the design size, it's 8.7 inches by 8. 0.7 inches or 22 cm by 22 cm fabric size is 11.8 or 30 cm by 30 cm so they're the same size as mine so this is mine and see if you could see it here it's like dazzling this one creates like a diamond reflection so see that one I started this this morning and this early afternoon and this one from today to this morning and this one from yesterday so this is very addictive so okay let's start on how it works all right so this one here this is the guide it's numbered pocket number it's art number one to twelve so that means you have twelve colors and hers uh, she transferred everything here and she threw the original packet where there's a shade of the gem so she transferred it here to the ziplock or the uh, self sealing bag so because she's almost done look at her work she's almost done for how many days she started this last Friday correct yes yeah she started this last Friday and look how it is so, she started last Friday and that's her output right now she's almost done and these are the uh, materials or the tools needed for her to work on this project so she has a tray a drilling pin and a clay or a wax and these are the gems so she just makes all color and uh, different colors in one tray. so it's up to her and this is the drilling pin and this one, it's nice because it has the grip pin for your, fin uh, for your finger. It's yeah. like your... How do you start with it? Okay, show me how you do the project. So I take this tool. Mm -hmm. As you can see, there's wax in here or clay. Because this is like a hole in here, if you see it. Look. Yeah, it's... And then... What's next? Then it press it here. Mm -hmm. mm, look, do it. And oh, it kind of went off. That's okay. Okay, just once or it depends. I know how to do. I just grab a piece. If it doesn't work, you could just grab a piece and then do that, and it'll work. Okay. All right, and then grab a gem that color that you want to work on correct mm -hmm. yeah so all right so what are you what color are you working on right now it's white yeah so it's like you, tran you transfer it so this is so similar to a mosaic art or um cross stitch so if you're a fan of cross stitch this is like for me this is like the other way or the modern way of doing it but this one is like the canvas or the fabric is with is sticky so it will stick the gem to the surface so if you can see it here it's like sparkly or dazzling that's why it's called diamond art so this one is like a dot dot diamond dot <laughs> So, but there are also different kind of sizes that you can find. I think they have square. I saw it online. But this one that we receive, it's dot. And you can see it here is dazzling already. See? It's nice. It's sparkly. 
It's so beautiful. So this is an art perfect for, for the entire family, for kids and for moms or whoever who are interested in your family. So and also they have like different kinds of design like Batman, like Disney characters, they have it the Olaf, every I uh, just look for it in the different craft stores in your area. And you can find a lot of designs that you choose. So, all right. So, that's our unicorn. So, thank you so much to our friends who introduced this to us. And this is mine. This mine is rose. This is called a rose. So, you can see it like here. Yeah. It's like you could see the dazzling or the sparkly. See? It's so nice. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Look at that. So, it's a rose. It's a different color, mix of color. And this is my guide here. So, I have 20 different kinds of colors. And this is the packet for the sachet. So, it has a number. So, it tells you the number here. It's a guide. So this is number 15 and number 3350. So this is the one. So I already made this one. I finished this already. I think today this morning. And this one from yesterday. And this one is today. So yeah, it's very addictive. And it's it relaxes me and... Yeah, it could help, you know, the stress in our lives. Art or craft, anything crafts that could help us. Yeah. So, part is always, uh, it's always part of our lives. So, to distress, do some craft it's and like, it helps. It's like the art is everyday living. Yeah. So you could see like that. You see clear. It's so beautiful. I love it. And this is size 30 by 30. So there are a lot of uh, stores, craft stores that they sell this in. But this one I I I got this from Amazon. You could also try uh, Joanne's. Yeah. So it's so pretty. Or direct from the website. I will just give the. Uh, link in the description box and where else you could buy it yeah so you have an idea so look at her work it's so beautiful she loves unicorns so one of our so one of our friends gave this family friends gave this to her as a gift and because she loves a unicorn so and she gave she received a unicorn exactly what she's looking for Say thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right. So that's it. And this is mine. So. So okay, guys. I hope you learned something from this vlog. So if you're a fan of cross stitch mosaic art, this is a like similar to it, but it's different. It's like the appearance. It's similar, but. Once you work on it, it's so easy. It's pretty easy to do. Uh, maybe like a small kid, maybe like uh, kids loves art, maybe at age of four or five. Yeah, I would recommend this to buy for your entire family. So the price range for this size.